I'm Mitch Hank, and the dream is over. Scott Walker has already dropped out of the 2016 presidential race after he was leading in Iowa in the polls a few short months ago and way up there in national polls, going to New York City and talking to Larry Kudlow and Arthur Laffer and the big money people at private dinners. It just all went south in a hurry. He tried to stake out a position on the far right. Nobody will get to my right. Giving up his place as a Midwestern governor who rolls up his sleeves and get things done. Maybe if he talked about the fact that 30% voting from unions, crossover voting, or even some Democrats, that kind of thing, or that he was standing up to unions and trying to take care of the taxpayers and hit the property tax thing harder, we can all second guess. He flip-flopped on immigration and the status of people born in the country. And he would also talk in a cadence that was too fast in debates. I stood up to the protesters. I stood up to 100,000 people. They made death threats, and I'll do that for the... And also on day one, I'll trip the Iran deal. On day one, I'll do this. On day one. People thought, that's just BS. You should have just looked in the camera and done the Clint Eastwood thing. Instead of doing that cadence like at a Walker Shaw County rally, hey, I stood up to the unions. They got pretty intense, threatened my family, but I said no. The taxpayers are in charge, and that's what happened in Wisconsin. They maybe rattle off a few things about how school districts might have saved money in Act 10. Do something and slow down. Talk to the camera instead of talking at the camera. Cokie Roberts of ABC News said he lacked gravitas. He, Scott Walker, she said, just doesn't have it. He's only good in the minor leagues. Well, the dream is gone. It can go quickly, but if you're going to run for president, you better bring your A game. My two cents. My two minutes are brought to you by... Edge Construction and Capital Consultants, Bill McCoshin, a lobbyist who gets things done downtown. We could talk about this tomorrow on the radio at 8 o'clock on 92.1 FM, The Mike, The Mitch Hank Show. We'll talk.